Well, I don't think that I'll ever grow tired of all the variety of flowers that Mother Nature offers to us. In fact, there are so many flowers. Flowers actually have a universal language of their own, and they're everywhere. You can see them in fabrics, on our clothing, on, they embellish our handbags, our shoes, they're even in our scrapbooks. But of course, they're in our gardens. So this next project, inspired by Eco Heidi, actually combines my two loves. My love of working with metal and my love of flowers to create copper floral plant stakes. You are going to love this project. It's going to have you going back to your garden over and over again. I just know it. But I want to share with you a few of the, prod or the materials that you're going to need to get started. First of all, you're going to need a bamboo skewer, and mine is already painted kind of a lime green color, and I did this with nail polish. So if you have a lime green nail polish laying around, you can um, give your skewer a little coat of paint. Any kind of acrylic paint will also work. A couple of the tools that you'll need, of course, are a pair of scissors, and you'll need your handy dandy pair of just basic uh, pliers. You'll need some tacky glue. You'll also need some 24 gauge copper wire. And then this back here, I know it's hard to see, you'll see this up close a little later in the project, but these are flower centers. And you get these in the scrapbooking department at your local craft store. Also, I have a little crystal. Now you can substitute anything you want here. If you have an old brooch or any kind of flower center, a glass bauble, anything like that will work. So just check out what you have already. Also, I have my Sizzix die here, and this is my Tim Holtz Alterations die. Um, this is the Tattered Flowers, and there's actually four different shapes on this that you'll see the exact shapes coming up here in a little bit as we get into the project. You will also need a sheet of double-sided tape. I don't know why I'm getting tongue twisted. Double-sided tape. There we go. We are also going to be colorizing our copper in this project, and so you're going to need a heat source. And I'm going to use my butane torch. You can also use a candle or you can use a um, heat gun. Heat guns just take a little longer, but you can certainly use that. So use what you have. I'm going to set all this off to the side because I want to talk to you a little bit about the metals that we're going to be using right here. Pull that in. I've got a couple different metals here, and this is the metal that we're going to be cutting our shapes out of using that die. This is art embossed, and it's medium copper. And when you get it, um, it comes in a tube, in a long tube, and it comes in a 9 by 12 sheet. But you can cut this very easily with scissors as well. So if you don't have this die, um, I'll give you a um, little template that you can use to cut your own flowers or feel free to make your own flower template. I'm also going to be cutting shapes out of this. This is wire mesh. It's almost like a copper fabric. And it's very dense wire mesh. And we're going to be using um, this to cut out some of the same flower shapes that we cut out of our art embossed metal here. Now, this is one of my favorites too, because when I first started this project, I really wanted to use the copper because copper ages in patina so beautifully over time. But then I watched the Eco Heidi show, and Heidi inspired me to recycle and to use some of the things in a way that you might not have thought otherwise. And she's done this before on her show. So she saves all of her drinking, you know, all of her cans. Um, this one happens to be from a green tea. And you can see it's got a lot of beautiful colors on it, uh, lots of greens and pinks and yellows, so look out for the colors of your cans because if you don't have access to the copper, you can use your aluminum cans. And I'll show you what I did with that like, coming up a little bit later. So this is really, really, really fun. All right, let's get started. So here, what I have are the copper shapes. And uh, these are the four different shapes right here that come out of the die. There we go. Let me show you these four shapes. So you have, um, they're in kind of graduated sizes here. So we've got large, and then it goes all the way down to the small. And these are just extra pieces. But you can see that I cut the exact same shapes out of the mesh as I did the copper. 
what you're going to need to do, don't hold the copper with your fingers because copper gets very, very hot and it will burn you. But with your flame, and really a candle is easy and so is my torch here since I get it on. There we go. Okay, you can kind of see my flame. I'm going to come in and I'm just going to heat this copper until you, oh, there you can see it turned colors. Now, it, the hottest it will ever go is a clear white. So, and it just takes a little bit to give it some color. Okay, so you're going to do this to all of your copper pieces, including your wire mesh. Just a little bit of color. And remember that the heat um, goes and it transfers throughout the whole pattern. So even if you're heating on one side, you can also, it'll also be coloring the other side as well. Okay, you're going to do this to all of your pieces, all eight of your pieces. That's the first step. The next step is to assemble our flowers. And really, the, it's the layering effect that gives these flowers a lot of bling and it makes them a lot of fun. So what I have here is I have about a six to eight inch piece of wire and I did goof. I forgot to tell you that you're going to need some kind of a hand punch or a nail. A nail works just fine. But what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to punch two holes in the center of your flower. And so for my larger main flower, what I'm using is the largest metal, the copper metal flyer flower. I'm also using the, the largest uh, mesh flower and then I'm using this somewhat daisy looking. This one's out of the copper metal. So I have two layers of copper and one layer of mesh. And I'm going to thread that right on to my wire here. So thread it up through the back. Oh goodness, I need, there we go. All right, right up through the back and then down from the front through all three layers. So there's layer one. Sometimes it's a little tricky here because I don't know where I put my hole. There we go. Sometimes the uh, hole on the wire mesh can be a little hard to see. Okay. There we go. I should I should have my glasses on for this. Okay. So you're gonna pull both of your wires. It's almost like you're sewing them together except we're using wire and not needle and thread. So you've got your two ends and then twist those together to secure them. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing with your other set of flowers. And you can actually put as many flowers on yours as you want. Here's a real quick look of what I have. I just have two flowers, but I also have this leaf here. So I want to show you how I made the leaf. We'll come back to this part here in just a second. This is an easy way to put the leaf together. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sandwich a piece of wire mesh and a piece of the copper uh, together with this double stick tape. So it's easiest to peel the white backing off first and put one of the sides down, doesn't matter which side. Get my scissors here. And then okay. So this is the side that I have my tape. And you need to take off the pink liner here or the red liner, depending on how you see it. We're actually going to take a little piece of wire, maybe three or four inches, and I'm going to coil the end. This just helps it to really grab onto the tape and keeps it from slipping out. So 
put that right onto the tape and then let the tail come out one of the corners and then stick your remaining piece on just like this so it looks like you have a square leaf but we're actually going to turn this into a leaf shape so now you're just going to cut out a very basic leaf shape and you already have your point so that makes it nice and easy you don't have to cut out around uh, any wire anything like that and you can actually give this a little bit more detail if you want you can cut some little um, you know leaf designs in it if you want to or you can just leave it a solid leaf shape this is really up to your preference here okay And of course what you do on one side you're going to repeat that on the other side. And these are just like little triangles that I'm cutting out here. Okay and you're going to repeat that with the other side and sometimes it helps if you turn it upside down. It's just easier to see because you're doing it at the same angle. And if you haven't already done so, you're also going to um, heat this so that the copper turns uh, different colors. That way it'll match what you have already done. Now the next thing to do, what we're going to do is we're actually going to put this onto our skewer here. And this is super duper simple. All you have to do is just wind the wire. Make sure that you're putting it on the blunt end. This is the blunt end, this is the end down here with the point. So you want to make sure that you're putting it on the blunt end because your point goes into the ground or into your pot. Just wind this all the way around. Now what I do is I come in with a little bit of tacky glue after uh, my flower center has already dried and I let this dry overnight, completely overnight. Um, but I come back in with a little bit of glue on my ends and that helps keep it attached to the uh, skewer so that it doesn't keep sliding down. I like that. Okay. Now the only thing left to do is grab a little bit of our tacky glue here. Looks like I picked up a brand new bottle. Some tacky glue down in the center. Come back in here with my flower center. I love the bling. And if you want to, you can also glue a crystal right over the top of that. It really doesn't need it, but I'm going to do it because I just want an extra little bit of dimension. Okay. So you're going to let this completely dry. Let me show you on the finished one here. What you do after everything is completely dry, then you come back in and you fold these leaves up. Really, you can sit and make a lot of these in a couple hours. So let me show you what this one looks like, and let me show you what the one looks like with the soda can.